Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Lying out on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running Told my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear
I'm on mute. Yeah, my bad. I'm on mute. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I was on mute for a second. Then that's a bit awkward from my point of view because I was speaking and no one could hear me. So that's kind of embarrassing. But um, oh, my hair is an absolute mess. I'll try and sort it out for everyone in the stream. How is everyone today? We've got Andrew Shakespeare and Andy Lee. How are you all today? We've got nine people in the chat. Sorry, just let me sort that out. I just had to sort that out. Very, very sorry about that. But how is everyone today? We are live on the Argo Way for a bit of a special stream. And obviously, as you could all see, that um, the new loading screen, I hope new starting screen. I hope you all enjoyed that. It's uh, something new, and uh, obviously, we needed to upgrade a little bit more. We need to upgrade the stream a little bit more. So that's obviously what we did on our part. But um, hopefully, Liam does return. I really, I really hope Liam does return at some point. But um, obviously, the big breaking news that came out earlier today, uh, I think it was like an hour, I think it was an hour and a half ago now. Let me get my phone back up. Um, obviously, you can see the player behind me. You can see you can see him behind me. Um, Aston Villa youngster who formerly played for MK Dons and Huddersfield. Huddersfield played Huddersfield last season. Um, Kesler Hayden on a loan. It's very, very interesting, and obviously, Kesler Hayden being the, the type of player that will most likely replace Bally Mumba on the um, at right wing back, and also a player that um, formerly played for MK Dons that finished third in this in the 2021-2022 season, where they nearly got promoted. So, it's a very, in, it's a very, um, it's a very, very good signing, in my honest opinion. But we've got loads to talk about. We've got loads to talk about. Obviously, we've got more transfer news. And obviously, photos that we've been posting on. We've been posting photos of um, the likes of maybe it could be another new signing, like Lewis Gibson, for example. We will talk about that. And um, probably other transfer news as well. Terry Taylor, we will talk about that. And then, obviously, the, um, Salmada, I think that's his name from the Australian League. We'll also talk about him. But there's loads there's loads to get into, and I'm excited for the rest of this stream. Hello, Terry. Hello, um, Owls Talk. I think that, um, if I'm not mistaken, that is Mitchell. I think that is Mitchell. Hello, Gen Terry released a statement earlier saying the reason why Moore left was because he wanted four times the amount of the salary. I've seen that, and I will talk about that in a minute because that's a bit, that's um, that's kind of crazy. From my point of view, that's very, very crazy. That um, it all he left because of that, and it's kind of um, kind of crazy that it all escalated from there. And Darren Moore now gone, you're replacing him after getting you promoted, and it's mind boggling. But hey ho, hey ho, what can you say? But um, how how is everyone? Get to, get your questions in, get your um, answers in. We're ready to answer. <sighs> yeah. You're ready to answer all your questions. How are you, Liam? Yeah, Liam's here. Don't worry. Um, I went for my tea. That's all right. Sorry, man. Yeah, that's all right. But um, obviously, you can see the player behind me. He's been. He was announced at half five, so around an hour and a half ago. Um, Kesler Hayden, formerly, um, obviously, another player from Aston Villa's youth team, but formerly went on loan to MK Dons, a team that. Um, in that in that side in the 2021-2022 season where they finished third in the league and obviously beat us 5-0 in the last game of the season, uh, which was a very, very uh, dark time for us. Um and uh, and also played for Huddersfield, so played under um I think I think he played for the first half of the season, so very, very fantastic. We will go through all of the um the stuff on the Argo website about all of the stuff um, that he's um, so far achieved for his um, not long career so far, but um, but absolutely incredible that we're oh, we've got two signings in and it's only June. What um, is this a new Plymouth goal? What hasn't changed though is, a, is getting loan players again. So loan FC's back. That's never going to change. If I'm honestly going to say that will never change. 
Um, but the one thing that has changed is um, the amount of signings we've already completed. And we're very early and we're pretty late in June. So, got to give a round of applause to the recruitment team for Perth Argyle. Let's say that right now. But um, if but we're going to obviously talk to Liam first of all, um, as I did message him and I did message him about this signing as well when we were talking. Yeah. talking you'll know, or obviously, if you don't know who Jack is, then you're probably obviously living under a rock. But <laughs> yeah, but. But obviously, this signing though, Liam, it we needed to replace Bally Mumba as Bally Mumba was one of the best players we had last season, and obviously him being a lone player, and we needed a good replacement in to at least do a job for us in the championship next season. But do you really think that um Kessler Hayden can really tick all those boxes? Um I don't think he would be as good as Mumba, but I mean he 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 can be as he he can be a good defender for us. Um, I don't think he'd be as good as Mumba, like I said, because I don't think he scored that many goals. If he can get some assists, that'd be great. But as long as he can defend really well, get some clean oh. sheets, that'd be that'd be the main thing, really. Like Andy, like Andy just said. Um, obviously, he just said up here. If, um, where where was it? Um, where did he say it? Or was it somebody else? A few more players are needed if we if we stay in the league. Yeah. He is he is a taller Bally Mumba, yeah. Nice. He, Terry Alford. He is a taller Bally Mumba, yeah. He is basically a taller Bally Mumba. He plays he plays up right wing back. He's a quick player. Um I I think it's definitely the type of player that I expected to come in because we needed a right wing back. Obviously, we were very short on wing backs with Finney Crass leaving, Ryan Law leaving, Bally Mumba going back to his club. And probably the only ones we've got now is um is Mikel Miller and Joe Edwards. So we needed more wing-backs to come into the club, and I'm very happy that we have managed to get this guy in. Um, and then also in being a player that we did not expect to come in, and obviously a player that we did not know about, that also excites me, because that's the second time now where we thought a player like that um, we all thought was going to come in was going to be announced. But it's a player that was completely under the radar. We didn't know anything about him. And that's the best thing right now about our recruitment team. And right now, it makes me even more excited about who else are we going to get? What else What else lines up for us right now? And what else um, could we see um, being lined up in the, in the, um, the future right now? And we'll honestly see throughout these um coming weeks we have still got loads of weeks ahead until the first game of the season we were close to july now so it's times are getting times are getting very very quick now only a, only a couple months a couple months ago we celebrated plymouth Argyle getting promoted and we're now obviously here talking about plymouth Argyle signings in the championship you wouldn't think about it and it's it's mind boggling if I'm truly honest. Um, seeing him score for Huddersfield against Ryan Ryan Lowe's Preston, well that's good news. Hopefully he does that in an Argyle shirt. <laughs> that's what I want to see. So there you go. A um, few more players that are needed if we if we just if we to stay in the league. I agree with you, Andy. Like like obviously, um, I think it's um, Chris Erin Chris. I think it's Chris Errington. I think that's his name. The journalist uh, Liam. I think that's his name. Um, obviously, he did say that we would most likely get between um, ten to twelve players through the door at Argo in the summer. If that's true, then the only like if you look at our squad depth right now, we've only realistically got we've got ten. No, we've got fifteen to sixteen players in our club right now, and obviously one in a um, like you've got Cooper, Adam Randall, Dan Scar, Gillespie, Brendan Galloway. Um, I was about to say James Bolton, but he's gone now. Um, Conor Grant left, Danny Mayer left. Um, trying to remember other players now. Mikel Miller, Joe Edwards. Um, trying to think of other, I'm trying to think of more. Matt Butcher, Jordan Houghton, Ryan Hardy, uh, Ben Wayne. We got we got loads of players. We still got good um, amount of players in the club, but right now, how short we are on players. That's what worries me, and I just hope that. Throughout this summer transfer window, we now go and get proper players in. And 
this is a step. This is a, a level above now. We're in the championship. We should be mainly focusing focusing on getting these higher up level players than what we had last year. We had Morgan with well, obviously we had Morgan Whitaker, but I would love to see him come back. But will he come back? Only time will tell. But I just hope that the recruitment team have have got players lined up already, and I just hope that we are making we are making moves to players. We are getting players in that um, go straight into our team and could easily help us achieve our targets next season. That's what we want. Yeah. But there's loads more to come out, so <clears throat> only time will tell. I just hope that more, more and more signings do come in and it's just about, obviously, um, what type of players we get in. I have heard a rumour about Finn Azaz coming back. I don't know. Um, he could possibly come back. Um, I wouldn't mind him coming back. Finn Azaz was incredible last season. He did hit a blip throughout the halfway through the season. But but he's still a fantastic player and still at an early age of 22 to 23, I think. You've got to realise as well, these young players, they've got loads of time and loads of time in their career and they've got very high potential to reach the type of level that we maybe like look at Niall Ennis for example and you could look at other players as well there's loads of more many players that could easily um, fit into our squad and we could easily develop Bally Mumba we've completely developed him Morgan Whitaker we've developed Niall Ennis we've developed and Brian, Adam Randall, Michael Cooper, we've developed so many players throughout our club. And we're basically a, de a developer team. We just upgrade players. It's like FIFA. Yeah. Every, every, every type of player that comes to our club, we put we basically just pump pump them with attribute cards. By the time they go back, they're, they're stacked. They're stacked with stats. They come into our club a 40-rated player, they leave a 90-rated. That's what it's like at our club. But I like that where getting players in and absolutely using them to their uh, traits and abilities. I think Fenazar should come back. What do you think about that, Liam? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, he was good for us, so you never know. He would fit right in our starting lineup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it depends who else we have lined up. And obviously, we will be talking about other players that um, we could potentially be joining our club. Um, another bit of transfer news that we will talk about: Barry Bannon's joining Argo on loan. There's more. There's more. There's a better chance of us signing uh, Bally. There is better chance of us signing Bally Mumba on a permanent deal than there is Barry Bannon joining us on loan. Simple as that. Um, there's a better chance of us getting four hundred subs than Barry Bannon signing for us. No, no, that's gonna happen anyways. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're gonna get four hundred subs, so. No, there's there's more chance of us getting one thousand subs before the end of the year. There you go, that's better. Yeah, it's true. Um, <laughs> there you go, that's that's a good one. But um, yeah, yeah, I do I do agree with um, I do agree with I do agree with Lee there. I do agree with Lee there. But thank you all so much for um all of the the subs by the way, all of the likes on our YouTube short. We had 700 views on one from uh, YouTube short from yesterday. One point, uh, 1,100 views on the one announcing Plagozello. We will talk about him as well in this stream. But thank you all so much for the views, the likes, the subscri subscribers. We're close to 400. We're, re we're reaching that our goal we set out for before um, we when we started this channel. So. Thank you all so much, honestly. It's absolutely incredible that we're growing as a fan base. We're growing. We're growing this YouTube channel. We're growing the Argo community, the you know, the Green Army community. We're growing as a whole, and we're reaching out. Simple as that. And I'm going to listen to that now. Plymouth Argo, um, listen to what Kesla Hayden um, says. I do want to listen to that, but... Um, I, I won't be able to listen to it now, of course. New. Well, I've just seen the video there. 
already saying he's glad to be here. He's been he's played it before. The fans are amazing. That's all you that's all you want. A player like that, that's all you want. I think a lot of people realise that our fans are amazing and our, we probably got we probably had the best um we probably had the best fans wise for like attendance wise um the none and noise we made throughout most of the games last season the hype everything m- related to the fans and the club we was most likely all the way up there for the best in league 1 simple as that we was absolutely incredible and you could tell that he definitely wanted to join. He definitely wanted to join. He he played against us when he was at MK Dons and, and a good MK Dons side. And we're upgrading our right wing back very, very well. I'm happy that we've got a player in like that. Um, I would like to see Morgan Whitaker back at home park as well. It depends if we give him the right amount of money. There you go. It depends if we get the right amount of money. So I just hope we do. Have I closed my door? Probably I have. Um... I would like to... Um, I've already seen that. All new players uh, say the same scripted rubbish. Yeah, but if, you, if, you, if you're going to be honest, though, Terry, th- you're rarely going to see a player that will say, oh, um, I just say... He's not going to say, just say, blabber, blabber, just absolute shite. You're, you're not going to hear that. You're not going to hear that at all. You're not going to obviously just hear a player come in, you sign him, and he says... I've been here before. This place has been absolutely shit. You're not going to hear that. So, end of story. So, how are you, YTPFC Vlogs? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing very, very well. Where do you think we will finish? I say 18th. Well, don't say that to Jack because he's predicted us. Um, where did Jack predict us again, Liam? 17th, I think. 17th. No, I think it was somebody else. I think someone else predicted us 8th. Don't know where they got eight from, but hey, how we move. That was I Nigel. Think... Nigel. Oh, yeah, Nigel. Yeah. <laughs> but Marner's opinion, I think we will finish 19th or 18th. But mm. that's with my heart. That's my heart, that. So, yeah. but my head, we will possibly finish 20th. I think we will just survive. I think we will just survive. It's good. It's a hard league. Remember, we're not going to be up there experiencing so many highs like we did last season. This is a tougher league. We're going to experience a lot of lows. Simple as that. We're not going to say, oh, we're going to absolutely pump this league. We're going to finish top half. Come on. Be a, really, be a realistic person here. Stop sticking your head up your ass or sticking your head in the sand like a bloody ostrich. Um, start <laughs> thinking realistic, realistical here that mm. we will be in a relegation fight. No doubt about that. We will be challenging so many teams to at least survive or remember and remember this is a rebuild and we could re- we could reach top half we c- anything could happen like obviously we could reach top half if we're that good enough we could reach mid table if we're good enough so we'll see what happens realistic second who is this guy tell me Char- charlton and uh, Ch- um, who is this who is this guy tell me charlton and we are interested in joe edwards Joe Edwards. Well, that's a surprise, man. I don't see him leaving. If Joe Edwards leaves, that would be a very, very big surprise. It would surprise yes, me. Sir. It would surprise Liam. It would surprise Harvey England. And it would surprise Jack. So let's be honest with that. Um, do I expect him to leave? No. Is there a possibility yeah. of him leaving? Maybe. But I just don't think he will leave. So there you go. Um, two one win on opening day. Would be I nice. would happily do a fist pump in the air for that. So there you go. <laughs> I'll happily do a fist pump in the air. Um, top of the league. More chance. More chance of me jump jumping off Tamar Bridge. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> more chance of me jumping off Tamar Bridge. So there you go. Nineteenth, um, twentieth. Fair play for all of you saying that. Um, if you haven't liked the video already, please hit the like button and turn on notifications so you don't miss, don't miss out on any new Argyle Way shorts or videos. And like you see on the 
the bottom right um, bottom right of the, uh, the 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 stream. We've got our Twitter, Facebook, Insta, the Argyle way. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where we will post stuff on there uh, daily, but maybe daily. But we do. If you want to look at some transfer news that we've been posting, and we're followed by we we got followed by uh, Pilgrim Pete. So lovely. We're reaching the highs. We're reaching the highs, aren't we, chat? So there you go. And obviously, for next season, we will be doing weekly prediction contest. So if you want to join the Argyle Way Discord, the link is in the description below. Um, if you want to join that, we will be doing some giveaways next season. So there you go. There are weaker sides than the teams promoted. Yes. Rotherham, for example. QPI you could possibly put in that conversation. Yep. Cardiff as well. I think 16 for you lot. Uh, fair play, Johan. Thank you for... Um, Fair play for saying that, honestly. Fair play. Thoughts on Ben Wayne? <sighs> Thoughts on Ben Wayne? It's a mixed. It's mixed, really. He helped us last season, and he did score. He did score an important goal in the Morecambe game. He's a player in development. He's a player in development. A slow development. Yeah. Sell Pilgrim Pete to Exeter. That's no. probably one of the worst sentences you could ever see in any stream or anything alone. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's what I think of that. Agreed. Um, <clears throat> it's it's not the right type of sentence. Actually, just, I know, not the not the sheep. <laughs> um, that's oh, the yeah. face I'd make. So there you go. <laughs> um, so that's that's what I think of that. So there you go. But um, if we, I want to go on Twitter quick because I do want to see if anything else has popped up. And my mum's hoovering in the back, hoovering in the background. So if you do hear a noise, very, very sorry about that. Um, but... Did you not say to her you're doing a stream? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I did say to her. But um, obviously, I'm looking at the Argo uh, website now. Argo signed Kane Kessler Hayden on a season long loan. The 20 year old joins Argo for the season from Aston Villa and becomes the second signing for um, following the uh, the recent. Um, um, jo um, signing of Julio Plagazello. Tesla Hayden is a wing back who plays primarily on the right, uh, who spent half half a first season on loan at Huddersfield, for who he played 14 games in the championship. So it's good getting in a player that can play um, first team football in the championship, and that's what you want. Born in Birmingham, Tesla Hayden has progressed through Aston Villa's youth system at 17. He was an unused substitute for a Premier League fixture against Everton and went on to make his debut in unusual circumstances in the Emirates FA Cup in January 2021, which is absolutely brilliant, and that's what you want to see. Um, for the 2021-22 season, Kane headed to Swindon Town on loan in League 2. He played 21 times, um, although he was recalled in January of that season. He still won Swindon Young Player of the Season. Got, got, got recalled halfway through the season and still won Young Player of the Year. Ball what, a dub. <laughs> what a dub. And only age 20. He's got loads of years ahead of him. I would love to, if he does well for us next season, I would love to just um, give a little um, give a little call to um, Aston Villa and say, yes, we're calling you right now on this phone number. Can you give us um, Kesler Hayden permanently, please? That would be absolutely fantastic. Bye. There you go. <laughs> that's what I'd instantly say. If he does well this season, that's what I'd love to, that's what I'd love to do. Just do the Griezmann, just do the Griezmann celebration. Yes, we're interested in him on uh, on a permanent permanent signing. There you go. What a very strange Hoover noise, by the way. Yes, <laughs> very strange. It is very strange. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, but obviously, very happy that we got um. Very happy we got Kesler Hayden in through the door. It's amazing to get a signing like that. And I'm very excited to um, see him in a Argyle shirt. And I'm obviously going to follow him on Twitter. Tweety tweeted saying, thanks for the warm welcome. Time to get to work. Yes, time to get to work indeed. Definitely. That's what I like to see. Absolutely fantastic. Um just um, just having a look through Twitter, seeing if there's any other news before we um 
Apparently, some people haven't no people have noticed. Um, Gillespie wasn't spotted. Interesting. Gillespie wasn't spotted, but I think he'll probably. I think he will still be at the club, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, we move, but obviously we're going to talk about obviously the other player that we did sign. Uh, I think it was last week. Uh, the Spanish international Julio Plagozello from from FC Twente in Eredivisie. You wouldn't expect to sign a player from Eredivisie as it, it is being a, a good European European league in the, in the in the Netherlands. Yes, big up the Netherlands. <laughs> but <laughs> good good player for FC Twente. He was one of their most vi- he was one of their vital centre backs the whole season, most likely, and obviously. No, he scored against Ajax in, I think it was a 3-1 or 4-1 win against Ajax. Absolutely incredible. I, it was, I don't know if it was either a loss or a win, I couldn't remember. But also, um, playing, um, being in Arsenal's Youth Academy, being in Barcelona's Youth Academy, he's a short centre-back. But like I've said m- multiple times about short centre-backs, and I've said it about Lissandro Martinez as a good example, don't slate short centre-backs. When they haven't even played a game. Because you don't know how good they are, first of all. And secondly, and secondly, short centre backs can have a lot of good traits from either being being a poor ball playing defender or being a cover, a cover, cover centre back, or as a, a wide centre back. With Lissandro Martinez, for example, is a good ball playing centre back for Manchester United. SC20 wanted him to stay. Yeah. But he just he just couldn't um he he just could not um he couldn't he couldn't reject the deal like Plymouth Argyle, you know what I mean? So we're too big. Um on Monday somehow I got season tickets. I was waiting for about five hours, didn't get them last season, but the, the last time I got a season ticket was 2019, 2020 season. Yes, Jack, join me and join Liam as season ticket holders. So join us. Absolutely incredible. And obviously, what will we be returning next season? Fan interviews. That will be returning. Don't worry about that. Oh, that will be returning, definitely. Um, so get ready for that. Next season, we'll be all over it. I'm very, very excited. And we'll be doing, well, match day vlogs. That will be covered by Harvey England. Jack Edwards, don't worry about that. Cornish Janna, it'll be covered by them too. So keep an eye on that. YouTube shorts, we'll be keeping on, we'll be keep on going with that. Discord, and Twitter, fan, Instagram, the fan, Facebook. The fan, the fan interviews would be decent as well. Oh, the fan interviews would be much better. I'm planning to the, buy a mic, but... The Tuesday, oh, night, the Tuesday night ones will be paying the backside, though. <laughs> yeah, that'll be brilliant. The away ones are going to be interesting, though. The away games are going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. True. So, I am gonna. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to have to yeah. find something out with that. Um, Emmerdale yeah. time. Bye. Emmerdale, Fez. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> bye bye, Terry. Enjoy Emmerdale. Um, he's an important player who'll boost, yeah, he'll boost yeah. the team a bit, definitely. But if I'm gonna most likely say it, if if I'm hearing that Gillespie has not been spotted at um preseason training, will it most likely be that um Lewis Gibson will be his um replacement? Only time will tell, and that's probably why we got Plagazello in. Two centre backs in the door with. James Wilson and Gillespie gone. Will they be their replacements? Only time will tell. Harvey, any news on that player that was um, our goal yesterday? Could it be the Bristol River centre back? Lewis Gibson, that was literally just um, talking about. <clears throat> Obviously, you did. if you did see our YouTube short, Liam did our YouTube short, and now I think it was literally just earlier, just before Kesler Hayden got announced, that Lewis Gibson was, again, I think, was spotted outside the Argyle ticket office. So I do think he will be, I do think he will be joining the club from what I have been told and from what I have saw. Only time will tell. Um, I might be wrong. I, I'm not the one who's actually probably publicly putting it out saying he's joining. He's, he's signed. He's definitely bloody signed. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is potentially he has been spotted and he could be signing for us. That's all I can say. So, if you want to see it, more on Twitter. That's <laughs> so that's all the news I could probably put out with on that. But more on Plegozello. And obviously being our first 
Spanish centre back in the club's history. Brilliant, fantastic. And we're going continental, which is bloody massive. But we needed a centre back that could get have all of the traits of um, pushing out furthermore, like James Wilson, like what James Wilson was doing last season, and Brendan Galloway most um, most times, who loves to push out, push out, push higher, push high with the ball up the field and create chances or do do what James Wilson did. Maybe you could pump the ball up the field and do long balls. But I wasn't a big fan of that. I was more a big fan of um, pushing the ball, um, running with the ball up the field and creating more space for you. Simple as that. Who do you lot want to replace Niall next season? Your honest thoughts on that, Liam? Who would you want? Um, I would say Clark Harris, but that sounds daft. Um, I'm not really sure, really, to be honest. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's a hard one. It depends, really. It depends what type of striker we're interested in signing. That's all you could say. I'm a bit more confident that he's joined the club because I was worried for the championship. Remember, we're only in June. We've got loads of time left. I think we'll most likely get more signings through the door. So, only time will tell. Um, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens, eh? So... I am I am very, very ex- <laughs> I've just seen that post on Insta for fuck's sakes. Um so I'm just I'm just very, very excited about the type of transfers we're actually getting at the moment. Like Plagazello, for example. I didn't think we would actually get a player like that. My camera's been an absolute mess. Um and uh, getting Kessler, Kessler Hayden. Would never have imagined getting a player in like that. So Got to give absolutely fair credit to. Got to give absolutely fair credit to the recruitment team. Absolutely fantastic, and Schumacher doing amazing, amazing job. The recruitment team doing absolutely fantastic. Amazing scouting, amazing scouting, and I would have never have thought of a player like that coming to our club. Simple as that. Um, but obviously, Lewis Gibson, like I said just a moment ago. Um, he apparently, well, obviously, apparently, he has been spotted near um, Argyle. Um, I did see. Uh, well, obviously, we did it on a YouTube short. We put it. Liam did that, and um, it was posted on Twitter of him apparently being spotted, and another picture as well, which was posted yesterday. So, I think we. I think it is most likely Lewis Gibson. Other people were saying it was Liam Delap or Jared Branthwaite. Jared Brentford, let's be honest. If he joined our club, Jesus Christ, I would have been ecstatic. I would have just jumped everywhere because you don't realise how good of a player he is. Let's be honest. You don't know how good of a player he is. But Lewis Gibson, I wouldn't mind. He's a good he's a good young player. Played for Bristol Rovers last season. So there you go. <clears throat> and, and being in Everton's Youth Academy, that also makes so much sense. Obviously, Schumacher mostly going for the Evertonians. And wait there, two secs. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. I just had to swat something there. There we go. Yep, done. I just had to swat some in. There you go. There's the image for all for uh, for everyone in the chat. There is the image. Um, it's interesting. It depends. Um, it could be somebody else. Like other people are saying, it could be Oscar Halls. I don't think that is Oscar Halls. If I'm honestly going to say that, just I don't think that is Oscar Halls. But if it is another signing in Lewis Gibson, I'm very happy with that, and I feel like. That is the type of player that definitely does replace. Um, he definitely replaces James Wilson. He's an instant James Wilson replacement, and I'm happy with that, and I will take it. Simple as that. Is Harry Estead a good, good in your opinion? Signed for yes, 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 he is. Honestly, you lads, you lads, right now, Charlton fans, you should be very excited with uh, the team that you're um, players that you're getting in right now. 
because your team is looking very, very good. And I have you uh, as one of the favourites to finish in the playoffs. With the signings that you're getting right now, very, very good. And I, and I feel like you do have the potential to finish in the playoffs. See what happens. Only time will tell. Maybe you get somebody else. Even in when I'm not, even yeah. not, even when I'm not even on the stream when I went for my tea, you know, he knew which song to play. Nice one, off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> so, um, why did I do that? Shit. Um, yeah, that 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 thank you no song. I nicked, I nicked it off um, King Flipper's videos. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I'm just having a look through um my stuff here just a moment ago. Mom, and obviously, chat. We still got your usual stuff. We still got you. Still the usual gifts. So we're not going to play them now because obviously we don't want. I'm. I'm still talking about other stuff and you'll probably know who what the gifts are anyway so there you go are you excited for the first game of the season yes we are yes we are very very excited and there'll be a fan and there'll be a fan interview for that one as well obviously yeah it's a yeah and it's obviously had it being at huddersfield as well it's we Neil Warner get... coming back to home part that's all you've got to say about on. that so try and get him on half <laughs> wait what just try and get Neil Warnock on. No, I'm joking. <laughs> nah, that would be incredible. Yeah. But, yeah, it'd be, it'd be mad. Unlikely, but if Scott Twine is put on loan from Burnley, he could be a shout. Like I've yeah. always said, I would always love to have Scott Twine at the club, and he would always be an absolutely fantastic signing for us. He'd instantly go straight in our team, without a doubt. Where do you lot need strengthening? Three players you hope comes to Argyle, both of you. I like I just said, Scott Twine. I feel like yeah. Scott Twine would definitely improve our team and he's the type of player we need who would um obviously massive create um create he's a brilliant creative player and a brilliant Har- set Harvey, Nib- Harvey Harvey Nibs would have been nice. But yeah. Harvey Nibs is a risk. Harvey yeah. Nibs is a risk. So there you go. It's me, Johan, just changed my account. All right, no worries. That's absolutely fan. It's absolutely fan. Um but <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fan but um, if I'm honest I wouldn't have gone for Harvey Nibs like obviously we had a bid rejected last season who cares he's going to Reading um, we we move on from that I don't care that we're not going for him so we move and I don't I, to be honest I didn't think he was good enough from when he played against us he didn't look good so there you go um, Scott Twine another one Clark Harris Probably one of the most clinical strikers in League One, and he would instantly go into our team, and it would give him another, and it would give him another chance to prove himself in the Championship. And I'll take him every day of the week. But the amount of money that would have to um, give him is is another risk for itself. We'd have to give him a lot of money to come in, because look how long he's been at Peter before. They've been in the Championship before. So there you go, Troy Parrott. Maybe, maybe, but I don't maybe. think you'd move to our club. I don't think you'd move to us. And Liam Kitchen, obviously, you have to mention my favourite player, Luke Kitch- um, Kitchen Sink. Um, yes, there you go. I would have him at the club. Yes, and sad that we don't have to men- that we don't mention his name next year, Liam. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't mention his name next year, which is sad. Eighteen yeah. people in the in the stream. Oh, by the way, thank you all so much for um. For jumping in, it's absolutely incredible that um that most eighteen people in it just um are in it on the chat show. Well, basically a chance a news show. Thank you all so much. But yeah. we will be live for probably around another fifteen minutes ish. So if you've got some questions, yeah. put them in the <coughs> put them in the chat, uh, put them in the live chat, and we will answer your questions. You should sign Taylor yeah. from us. Hope not though, or or Ricardo Santos. Like I said in my short ages ago, it would have been. It would, have been very, it would have been a very, very exciting signing, but it's very unlikely. I don't. We were never going to sign him in the first place. So there you go. Oh, and Liam's gone. Bye. I think he will join back. Don't worry. He'd do the dishes in the defence. Yeah, he would do the dishes in the defence. <clears throat> I wonder if Cooper will perform after being injured. In my opinion, I think he'll be back to normal. He will. He's already back in training. Yeah. 
He's already back in training, so which is fantastic. Um, any other comments? Not at the moment, but um, obviously other transfer news being in Terry Taylor. Apparently, we have had a bid with Jet did for Terry Taylor. Would we go? Would I go back for um, Taylor though? No. If I'm being realistic here, I wouldn't want to go back for a player like Terry Taylor. I don't think he would suit our. He would go. He wouldn't go in right into our team with Jordan Halton in there, with Matt Butcher in there, and other players as well. Oh, for God's sakes, whether the SWAT SWAT again. <laughs> um. Yep, SWAT R fourteen is back. Um, all right, let's carry on. Um, just I'm just I've got eagle eyes. I'm just trying to keep an eye around my room. So there you go. <clears throat> and also, I've got another thing to say as well, chat. Before we do finish, we will be creating our own so rare league. If you don't know what so rare is, it's um, basically a fantasy. It's like a mix of fantasy Premier League card collecting, like Panini cards um, collecting trade and sell off cards so you do you do five aside um five aside teams you collect cards you do five aside teams to the premier league mls syria bundesliga um i'm, I'm forgetting another one now so premier league league on syria bundesliga and and i think i might have missed out one i'm not sure but you do loads more leagues and you can um you can earn rewards you can earn fantastic cards we will be doing our own league for that. You can collect some championship cards as well, so also more exciting. But if you want to join our league, I will be creating it soon, and I will put it on Twitter. So like I said, follow our Twitter, and we will put the link to that um, on our Twitter. So if you want to join it, follow our Twitter and keep um, notified about it. But you can join it as well, Liam, if you want, and I think it will definitely get you more interested in that. So there you go. So we'll be doing our own league, which will be absolutely fantastic. So make sure to join that and we will probably do some... Um, well, obviously, the main giveaways will be on the Argoway Discord for the prediction week, weekly prediction contest. But maybe for So Rare, we'll see what happens. So I've got So Rare. It's brilliant. Yeah, I've had So Rare for a while as well. Since I've had So Rare for nearly a year and a half. I've had So Rare for a year and, year and a half now. It's absolutely fantastic. But... If you want to join it, link will be in on the Twitter and soon in the YouTube description when I create it. So keep an eye on it. But um, and then other players that we um, I was going to mention. I'm just going to have a look through here. We should do an FPL league as well. I reckon. Yeah, an FPL. Yeah. Because that'd be good. <laughs> Most of you should know what FPL is, but. If... <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just, oh, just threw up in my mouth a bit there. Very, very sorry about that. That's really hurt. <coughs> I'm very sorry. Um, just, just checking on Twitter. I think that's his name. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> that really hurt. Jesus Christ. Um, so. Uh, obviously, it says on uh, Twitter, Championship so Championship Club Middlesbrough have joined the race. Um, with uh, joined Plymouth Argyle in the race to sign Central Coast Mariners attacker Samuel Silvera. It's understood Plymouth Argyle have made an offer for the for the in demand winger, but it's rejected. So apparently, we have had bids rejected for Samuel Silvera, a player from the Australian League again, the same as same as Ben Wayne, another player from um, the Australian League. And it's cool that we are getting players from Australia and it's cool that maybe potentially I would love to see an affiliated link with one club. I would love to see that. It'd be absolutely amazing. It would be incredible where we could possibly either loan off players or bring some players in. I would love it. It would be brilliant. Would you take a Langer or Lingard to the club? Lingard would be impossible. We'd have to pay so much yeah. of his wage. A Langer possibility, <clears throat> but Man United want to sell him permanently, so don't see yeah. that happening. But it's cool that we are getting interested in these type of players that we've never heard of, first of all. And secondly, when you look at their statistics and when you look go further into depth in their re in, uh, research, it's interesting what you could find. 
that's what I like about these other players that you've never heard of and how potentially good they look. And we're saying with Samuel Silveira, another winger. We do, and the annoying, but the annoying thing is with this one, we don't play in a formation where we play with wingers. We play with wing backs. We play attacking midfielders, and we play with a stri- play with either with two strikers or one striker or two attacking midfielders or one. We don't play with wingers, and it's the same with Tariq Wright. We bought a winger who can't. Who we're trying to divert into a wing back, and he, he can't do that. And it's a piss take, and it's annoying me that we're getting interested in these wingers, and we. We're not playing with wingers, and that's annoying, and it's annoying me, and it'll probably most likely annoy a lot of you. So it's just it, it's getting on my nerves right now, if I'm truly honest. Yes, other quality sign in this one is giving me Mumba vibes. There you go. I'm <clears throat> just looking at the tweets here. <clears throat> Maybe our new signings department could run the uh, the keep um, run the keep in the new secret the kit secret department. And obviously, our apparently our kit did get leaked as well. So obviously, I'm not going to put it on stream. But if you do want to see it, it is on Twitter. So there you go. Um, anything else? <laughs> Nope. Not seeing anything else. But absolutely, absolutely nice. Do you think Cooper is top five in championship goalkeepers? We can't say he's in the top five at the moment because he hasn't played in the championship yet. Could he potentially be in the top five? Yes. He could potentially be in the top five. He could definitely potentially be in the top five. Um, 16th of August 2022 20, uh, remember what, what happens then is that what I think it is wait there yeah yeah I knew it was but mm-hmm. What happened then? Yeah, but what's the difference now, Johan? We're in a championship and you're still down there. So that's the main difference. We smashed you when you started destroying everyone. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? And that's probably what kicked off our season. We needed a smashing and then we just started smashing everyone else. So there you go. Perfect. But yeah, thank you, Charlton. And then we um, took you and then you came to Home Park and you got sent back home. Sent, got sent back home. So there you go. Do you think we needed? Do you think that we need a new striker? Minus opinion, yes. And I think Liam would agree with me on that. Yeah. Definitely. We do need a new striker. With Sam Cosgrove going back uh, to Birmingham, Niall Ennis leaving us. We've already got and Jeff Cott going as well. That's another thing we got to forgot to mention. So we've only got um, Ryan Hardy and Ben Wayne as our strikers. We did. Jeff Cott. Jeff Cott. Uh, apparently, who was meant to be called the Welsh Wizard? No, he's not the Welsh Wizard. Um, but who? I would love Clark Harris. I would love Clark Harris. He would be a brilliant signing, but I don't think that is realistically possible. Oh, Hopefully, we'll be using this um, for the streams in the new season. Yes, yes. That and thank you yeah. for Daryl for um, thank you for Daryl for that as well. The new. Goal for our goal um, um, graphic. So thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it. Exeter City are the shittest team in Devon, and you know it. And you know it. They are the shittest team in Devon. And you know that. So that's all you need to know about that. They are so shit that... They've lost most of their key players this season and apparently one of their... And also, I'm going to talk about this as well, apparently, um, another tran- bit of transfer news, of um, Josh Key, the scum player, apparently being leaked, to, uh, apparently being rumoured to come to Plymouth Argyle. Mm. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the perfect meme for that? Um, what? Like, that is the top, <laughs> that's, the, that's the type of reaction I would say. What? Brilliant, yeah. fantastic, but it's completely 
out of the, um, completely pulled from under the carpet. So I don't know about that. Should I take Lyle Taylor? Lyle Taylor. If that's what I think it is. Um, yeah, Lyle Taylor. Yeah, maybe he's. I know. I know he's thirty-three. He uh, he has. He he's played most like he's played mostly in the championship for years. I would take him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think I would take anything like that. Put on donations, pals. Um, I would love to, but we can't. So there you go. We haven't got um, we haven't got enough subs yet. We haven't got enough subs. I think it's thousand for donations. I'm not sure. Thousand and um, we have to get uh, verified. One thousand subs and a certain amount of watch time. So there you go. Quite a lot of it. Biggest mm. Judas in our goals history: Ruben Reed by far, or Ryan Brunt. Exactly, Liam Dalton. Agreed. And obviously, love seeing that. There's another Liam in the chat, so that's even better. Um, but <laughs> yeah, definitely Liam Dalton. Yeah, definitely. Um, no. Where can I see the kit leak? It's on Twitter. So if you want to look at it, we have posted it on our Twitter. So like I said, follow our Twitter. It's the Argo way. Um, and also the link is in the description for our Twitter as well. So we have posted it on there. We have had our thoughts on it. So it's on there. So there you go. So it looks really, really nice. That's all I'm saying. It looks really, really nice. And I really do like it. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, Josh Key to Plymouth goal, I would take it and he would really fucking piss off the scum fans for sure. But will it happen? No. He'll most likely go somewhere else. So there you go. Live in Norway and will advise this channel and shout it out. Um, second best team in Devon. They are, yes. Yes. That's what I like to see. Spread, spread more, spread more Argyle fans around Norway, actually. Or if you are in Norway and you're a Charlton fan, Spread more Charlton fans around Norway because I, if you support Charlton, that'd be good. Need a new left wing back would take Mumba on a permanent. Never gonna happen. It, um, it's like basically if you want to go on a football manager save and you 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 go and sell a couple of players and then you have enough money to go and buy Bally Mumba. Bang 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 done. It's not as easy as that. There's more into that. There's more into. By that. the way, we've um we've we've gained six subs today. Yeah, which is fantastic. Which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, chat. I really, really appreciate it. Talky better than Exeter. <laughs> dub of a dub of a post. Dub of a post. Charlton uh, and we will be higher in twelve months. I'm doing that, of course. Yeah, of course. We're going to sign Harland. More chance of me. Um, like I said earlier, more chance of me jumping off Tamar Bridge. So there you go. So we move. Um, but I think that will most likely be the end of the stream, everybody. It has been an hour now. And thank you all so much for jumping on this stream. It's been a brilliant hour of talking about transfer news and all that stuff. Obviously, we couldn't get any more um, transfer news on this today's show, but... Like I said, we had a limit of an hour, and there you go. So thank you all for the 11 to 18 people and maybe others that have jumped into the stream. Thank you all so much. We will bring you some more news very, very soon. Jack will come back as well onto the Argo Way, so keep an eye on that. Yeah. But um, hope you all enjoyed the stream. Thank you all so much. We'll see you in the next stream. And in, obviously, keep an eye on the YouTube short. Follow our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and join the Argo Way Discord. We'll see you next yeah. time. And don't play the outro, Liam, because we will just end it straight away. Um, right. See you all then. Goodbye, Sonny. Goodbye, Liam. Goodbye, um, goodbye, Liam Dalton. Goodbye, Charlton. Uh, obviously, Johan. PFC Vlogs. See you all later. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye, everyone. And keep yeah. an eye on our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts. See bye -bye. you all there. Bye bye.